What's going on you guys? How's it going this afternoon? Dave here. I was uh, thinking a little bit ago. My entire family, I used to be a, uh, I guess I still am, I'm a junior, so everybody called me Little Dave. Hey, little Dave, little Dave, little Dave, little Dave. I mean, my grandma called me little David. Or she called me George, Jason, Billy. Damn it, David. <laughs> <coughs> but my whole family called, calls me little Dave, or they used to. And, you know, they still do as far as I know. I was kind of sitting around. The kids are about to go to... It's 6 o'clock in the evening. The kids are about to go to the fair. The Muckleteo Lighthouse Parade or the Lighthouse Festival. Ashley, I believe, is already down there. The other kids are going to go. Yippee. That means they'll come home all sugared up with those little bracelet light things that I can take from them and I can, I'm going to be wearing those tomorrow. I was kind of hoping to go pick up Gracie and Joey this weekend, but kind of hectic. I'm really missing them right now. But at least there's football tomorrow. I think. Stay Friday or Saturdays. Sunday. Okay, yeah. At least there's football tomorrow. Which is I think the season started, you know, a couple days ago or whatever. Preseason started two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I like football season, it's always a lot of fun. I haven't looked at the schedule yet, but I'm pretty sure the Hawks are going to be playing the Cowboys this year, or are not playing the Cowboys this year, because they've played them the last two years, I think. I've been to the last couple games, or the last three years. I went four years ago, and I went three years ago. And I didn't go last year or this year. So, but whatever. I think I just confused myself. Derp, derp. Mm -hmm. I guess I should probably do my bi light. <laughs> That's all I really want to talk about. Just kind of chit chatting. Kind of missing, missing Gracie and Joey right now. And Amy and Connor and just kind of, I'm not moping, I'm just kind of missing a little bit. I have been decreasing, tapering is what they call it, I guess, decreasing the amount of steroids I take. It's kind of weird because I can feel, like every day I feel, not every day, but like, I do feel less emotional already with the lesser amount of steroids already. It's just crazy. And I feel stronger. And I thought steroids were supposed to make you all crazy and let go on a mile a minute. I wanted to say something earlier and I haven't said it yet. But I tried meth one time. And... When I was, I had to be 12 or 13. I was really young. I tried it at my friend's house. And I don't know if he still does it or not. I, don't, I haven't talked to him in years. But um, I tried it and all I did was walk around the block. And I remember thinking, I can walk around the block anytime I want. Why would I need this to do it? 
And that got me thinking about the only time my real dad ever spanked me. I was probably 14 or 15 years old. And he told me to clean up something on his... Sh he told me to clean the desk in his shed off. And it wasn't like a real desk. It was like a, a wooden table that he had built. And he had me clean it off. And about an hour or two later, he comes in and he's like, Hey, did you see this little baggie that was on my, on my desk? And I'm like, oh, I just, I probably threw it away. And he cleared his belt loops and just started going to town. And I didn't, I had no idea what it was. I didn't know that it was a drug and I didn't know that he did drugs at the time. I, mean, I kind of assumed he's, he sat in the bathroom for hours. And we all, you know, oh, dad's pooping again. But no, he would sit in there and there was always like a, a torch beside the bathroom, beside the toilet, like a, a propane torch. And we never knew what, what was going on. And it was later on, you know, you realize, oh, doop, doop, doop. <laughs> so yeah, that's the only time he ever spanked me. But yeah, the only time I ever tried it, I tried it and walked around the block once or twice. And I thought, I can do this without drugs. This is insane. Like, why would I, why would I pay to do this? And I haven't, you know, I've never done it since then. I've been around people who do it. Actually, before I got diagnosed, I went to Value Village, which is, it's like a thrift store. It's like a Savers down south and on the East Coast. But, um, 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 I walk out of the, the Value Village, me and Joseph did, and I see, like, the first guy I ever met when I moved to Washington State from Euless. Texas, a gentleman by the name of Andy, he was a year younger than me or so, but he was sitting outside of the, I hadn't, I hadn't seen him in probably four or five years, and he was sitting outside of the Value Village as we came out, and I didn't quite recognize him, but I thought he looked familiar, so I turned around again, and he goes, Tex, what's going on? And I was right there, almost started crying. I was so sad. This dude was just geeked out, just like had scabs all over his face and stuff, and just looked horrible. And we stopped talking, stopped being friends, because he hit a nurse when he was trying to get pills at a hospital. And that was his thing, was he loved pills. And, yeah, he still hasn't changed. Here we are, you know, 30 years later or whatever, 10 years later, and he's still geeked out, walking around downtown Everett, Washington. Just <laughs> Just geeked out. I'm sure you know he'll do whatever he can, like meth or whatever. But I was just so sad. Like he had a daughter. I thought he had gotten married, and he just didn't take up parenthood at all, and didn't take up being responsible at all, and just kept with the pills and the drugs. It was really sad for me. I like. On the way home, I even started crying. I was just like, why would this happen to this guy? Like, what what would happen to him? Like, why would he need this every day? It was so sad to me that he hadn't improved his life for what he wanted. Because he wanted, you know, he's always about, I'm a baller, I'm, I'm a baller. And he wasn't. He was never a baller. He did, you know, at a garage sale one time, he found a... 
uh, I don't even know remember what the car was, but oh yeah, Le Mans, a Pontiac Le Mans, an old one, like 60s, late 60s. He found it for like 400 bucks and nothing was wrong with it. It wouldn't start. He paid the 400 bucks, figured he could get his money back with scrap and it was a ground wire. So, that was the most baller thing he had was that. But anyhow, I just wanted to come in and chat see how you guys were doing so that's it I don't want this video to be too long 11 minutes already I think but you guys try to make every day better and better every day and smile more and hoorah and if you guys could like subscribe comment pardon me and if you don't like dislike it and if you would love if you think somebody else could use what I talk about share it this is I've explained in some past videos that what I'm using this for is an exhaust valve to release my tension and to help me cope with my cancer but if you think somebody else it would help somebody else cope with their cancer that would be awesome but anyhow you guys smile more and make every day better and like, comment, and subscribe or dislike, whatever. Thank you guys a lot. I love you guys so much for watching my videos and a lot of you guys I love just because I love. But anyhow, have an amazing day.